what up, what up, what up, uh, you know, I never have any idea what to say at the beginning of these videos, it's like, so, what's up guys, how's it going, dudes, like, uh, I don't know what to say, I, I, it feels weird if I just, like, start teaching without having any introduction, so usually I just ramble on like I'm doing right now for about 25 seconds, and then I'm like, okay, welcome to a new video going to show you guys how to format numbers. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. So I have this example fantasy hockey game open again because I don't know it's the only one I made real quick with basically different kinds of numbers that we have to format. So right now it looks pretty good but it doesn't look exactly how I want it because first of all remember that I said that this is a game where we have fifty thousand dollars and we have to buy players. The players we're going to think that that are going to do the best that night. So this salary column, this is actually a dollar amount. So this is nine thousand dollars, but that's how that's not how nine thousand looks in real life. It has a dollar sign and all that stuff. So the first thing I want to do before I make an, before I make this uh, style sheet look good is actually want to change this to average A V G, and that's just because the column name. Whenever I'm looking at a spreadsheet and the column name is a lot longer than the data, I think it looks weird. So change that to average and double click that and actually go ahead and expand it a little bit and it looks a little bit better already. So now we can go ahead and take care of this column right here which is the dollar amount. So what we can do is a couple things. We can go ahead and in each cell just manually put a dollar sign, comma, um, period zero zero that's gonna take a while so instead if we select this entire column and click this little sign up here again make sure you're in the home tab and under number these are your formatting options for formatting numbers so just click the dollar and what it's gonna do is it's gonna convert this entire column to dollar or decimal in other words currency um, formatting so it's going to add dollar sign, boom, we're good to go. Now another thing that you can do is if you don't want to um, format an entire column, you can actually just select a range of numbers like this. So if you select a range, and let's say we want to um, make, we'll say that, you see how like 4.114 has three decimals and like zero has no decimals. Some have one, some have two, some have three. Let's go ahead and make sure that they all have the same amount of decimal places. So this little button right here and right here are for decreasing and increasing the amount of decimal places. So go ahead and just tweak those and say, I don't know, I think two looks pretty good right there. So I actually want to do this for all of the data right here. So I'm going to select all that. I'm going to tweak it until this entire column all has two decimal places. So right now it looks good. I mean, this is in currency format. This is all consistent. It's a lot more pleasing to look at for the eyes. Now, another thing I want to point out is just a couple shortcuts real quick. If you're too lazy to um, just tweak everything with the mouse, what you can do is holding down control shift in the little tilde on your keyboard, check that out. What this does is it unformats any text that you have formatted. So it pretty much returns it to the default styling before you added any formatting at all. Now the tilde is to the left of the one and above the tab under the escape key. It's like in the top left of your keyboard. If you don't know um, what that symbol is, I, I think it's called a tilde. I think tilde, I think I'm calling it right. Now another thing that you can do, another shortcut is if you hold control and shift and hold the dollar sign or hit the dollar sign above the four, that's going to change it to a currency real quick. So again, if you're more of a shortcut person instead of like a mouse person, then there you go. Control shift and dollar was that. However, I want it back to two decimal places. Now there's actually a shortcut for that. If you hold control shift and hit the explanation mark, I say explanation, exclamation, I think that's what it's called. I don't know what these stupid things are called. It's above the one on your keyboard. So that takes whatever numbers you have selected and it formats it to two 
decimal places. Pretty sweet. It's actually one that I use a lot more often than um than I would probably think. So the last thing I want to mention is this. So we know these shortcuts, and there are a couple more if you want to look them up. I don't want to waste the whole video just talking to you guys about shortcuts. But up here, of course, we have dollar sign. If we want to format it to a percent, we can do that. If we want to change the decimal places, we can do that. And we have limited options right here. But we have a whole slew of, of other options as well. See, we're not just limited to these buttons. Some of these menus in the ribbon or options, they have an additional um, pop-out menu if you click this little symbol right here. So click that, and as you can see, you have just entered the matrix of formatting cells. This gives you complete control, pretty much formats it any way you can possibly dream of. So alignment, font, what kind of font you want, the border, fill, what kind of styling of formatting we were just talking, talking about. So again, if you ever think that, okay, I want to format these cells a particular way and I'm not really finding exactly what I'm looking for in the ribbon, remember to look for this little pop-out right here. And there you go. If you can't find your choices that you're looking for in there, then, <laughs> well, you can't. They're all there, okay? Then they probably don't even exist. So for this tutorial, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching. In the next tutorial, we're going to be covering... Well, a bunch of cool stuff. I'll explain it then, obviously. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you then.